Hey everybody, we're back here with Algebra 2 again, working on solving problems that involve quadratics. And so right now we're in lesson two, three, and up to problem five out of 10 here. We're supposed to solve this, this uh, inequality. So first thing I'm kind of thinking is what's, if, what's this, if we graph this, granted the y's are not part of this problem, right? And you don't see a y anywhere in this problem, but we can use it to help figure out, think of the right side as if it were your y. So uh, if I did x plus eight times x plus one, I believe that the, the left side would factor like that. And when you solved each of these, for when does x plus 8 equal 0? You get a negative 8. You subtract the 8 to the other side. x plus 1 equals 0. Subtract the 1 to the other side. So your two x-intercepts here would be the negative 8 and the negative 1. So if my negative 8's out of here and my negative 1's in here. And we know that this thing is opening up because the x squared was positive. So we could have a general shape of our parabola kind of like that. And this parabola asks, or this question asks, when is the parabola less than zero? Or in another way to say that on this part would be when is the, the when is the parabola, the y values, when are they negative? And it would be in this section in here in between. So that would give us our answer on this problem that it's between the negative eight and the negative one, and then there's no equal to on it. So the endpoints are not included. It doesn't wanna know what it equals zero, the negative eight and the negative one, the y's actually are. And so there's my answer. So we're just gonna put that in and we should be good to go. The negative eight up to negative one is where that parabola is negative or less than zero below the x-axis. All right, hopefully you uh, can follow that and it helps you on your problem. If not, bring your questions to class and we'll go through them together. Good luck, just don't give up, you got this.